a little more filament today. As oh, have I ever have I ever not started a puzzle game stream by saying uh, I'm worried that today I might not solve a single puzzle, even if I spend ten centuries looking for a puzzle to solve. It's it is an eternal fear. Where to start? I still don't quite understand the legend on this, uh, or do I? Maybe I do. Okay, if we're looking for, for things that aren't filled in yet, what is this on the... Second floor, southwest of the staircase. That is that is the staircase, right? South and west of the staircase, what is this one that is not filled in on the second floor? One one thing in here, and it will lead to a what's it? Stacked towels. Are you a puzzle? That might be a stretch. That might be a stretch. That bamboo tatami. Might be a stretch. What are these even? Why would I have left this one? Don't I like these? Well, he's called Jigsaw. Oh, I remember. It's these these two on the side are really tough to figure out. Like you gotta hit both of them in a row because they're in the same in the same puzzle piece, same jigsaw, and that is difficult to do. I mean, it's not difficult to do, but it's it's hard. This is the other tough one. Is this guy right here? And this guy. <laughs> There's a lot a lot about this one to love. It feels like we're practically forced to hit these two first, but what are my other options? If I go like this, we might never hit that guy, right? We won't be able to squeeze through there? No. I'm going all the way up here for an initial... Almost certainly not. No. Going all the way up. Here, what we could do. We could, oh no. Unless I want to open the the Pandora's box of starting all the way up there with that thing, uh, I think we have to hit one of these bottom two first. Can I try this out a little bit? This guy right here, this guy. Now, look at how anything we do from here, it's going to be so hard to get this guy. Maybe. 
we can only pass through here like once kind of if I go like that I can't come back through yeah I can I didn't think this was going to work anyway. Alright, we'll go back to starting with uh, Senor and Senori to bottom. Bottom puzzle. That takes care of that. Uh, the real tough customer is this guy. That's it. That was it. Alright, the secret was to hit those guys on the left right away, at the very beginning. And then, uh, do the puzzle correctly. I did it. Yeah, one, two, three, four pieces. A lot of uh, crazy things to hook around. Are we going to be doing a lot of, like, up and down? Like... If, if I start like this, then uh, this guy is already blocked. He's already blocked. Unless... Yeah, no, he's already blocked. Shall I start with him? I don't want to... I don't want to, like, gunk this up by dragging a line across. Uh, let's... Ooh, are we going to do a fancy, like... That's the outside, but we're going to come back and get the inside. Oh, wait. Let's do this. That's not the only one. Didn't I just say I didn't want to do this? Not get that one first. This is silly. All oh, this is silly. This guy's important.
Yes. So if that's the start, gotta go up. That this this guy's trapped up here, right? Yeah, that's not bad. This is a no good. doesn't work. That's got some, that shows a little, a little bit of promise. This is still once I once I get it, I'll I'll have it. So I'm not I'm not like really concerned that this is going to be unsolvable. I'm sure I can get this. Go for this one because I I'm, not, I'm still not going to touch the top guy. Needs to here. And now we just need the last one. What? Felt like this was it. Oh, I could I could leave. I could leave. I could jump out of the space station without a helmet on. Does this does this do it? Where is the exit? I didn't use a pole. I didn't use that one. works. Can't take it back. Can't patch it. Whoever heard of a game being patched? <laughs> I guess so. This guy in the middle is going to be very difficult, right? Because you can only, you have to hook him and go down left, but the thing he has to be hooked to is this guy. I mean, I could do them first. That's a mistake. Talk me out of it. Talk me out of it. Don't let me do it. Too late.
can't get this middle guy without getting the other guys. Okay. So what if that completed, I come back here, get these two. Finally him. And all without using that one. Play the clip. Play the clip of Serp saying, don't do it. Play the clip of Serp trying to talk me out of it. What did I tell you? I told you that was the right answer. And I didn't need the, the post again. Woof. Why couldn't the whole game be these? Why is there just a lonesome Larry in the middle, that, or to the right, in the middle? this one or this one first. We're gonna have to start over here. Probably not like that. No. So one of these ones on the left. I guess this one. a way for me to do that with no that's too close this is also too that's not too close but it probably stops me from getting through there yeah come down and do these first and then approach from the top from the top, hitting this with no problem. Do do. I can't get it in the middle. Mmm, betrayed.
this is not gonna work. Get rid of the, get rid of Larry, and then do this. Now you need a way to get in. Um. Oh my gosh, this feels unintentional too. This doesn't, this doesn't feel like the right solution, but I did it. So many of those did not feel correct. Canary, who first realized the planet had something to do with Pistachio's disappearance. After the probe, Canary increased the number of readings she was taking on the planet. She had seen an increase of anomalous readings across the board right up to the day Pistachio disappeared. And they just stopped. For time. Then the anomalies started to crop up again, but faster than before. We had to leave. If the timing of the anomalies before was anything more than coincidental, then we were in danger. I've never prepped a ship for long distance travel so quickly before. Not that it mattered. We were all set to leave, but when we tried, we realized we couldn't escape the planet's gravity. It was like it had somehow gained mass. And every time we put more power to the engines, the planet would pull back. Only harder. She doesn't know what she's doing. You gotta use the backward thrusters. No. Forward? Yeah. I gotta think back to Outer Wilds. I can do this. How do you get off of a planet? It's impossible, actually. Trick question. Aubergine week 10. Only one. Hey, I left my tools down in the shop. Would you bring them up along with the next batch? Yeah, no worries. The next batch of wood. Is it gonna be entry? No. I mean, not entry. Empty. And it is pretty much empty. They're gone, and I can't do anything about it. What is day 67? I guess let me check the map again. See, that was good progress to get immediately as soon as I got here. Wasting it. Wasting it on easy jigsaw puzzles. <laughs> Alright, so what else is a little solo guy? Third floor all the way on the left. Shall I tackle that next? Surely. Top floor all the way to the left. The big room. The plant room? Could be. I got to the third one and then gave up. Builder 3. It looks like there's no sequels to this one. It's not like Builder World 1 Puzzle 3. Okay. Each one that you touch automatically spawns a wall everywhere that you are not covering or that a uh, thing is not covering. Why would I have left this? This is a wonderful puzzle.
ruined. I do mostly the same thing, but do this. Probably not. Definitely yes. So interestingly, it matters whether you, whether, like, you, it's not just trace this path and you get it. On a lot of these, if you, if you try to cut the corner, like, it matters where your wire is. Uh, only six. This, I'd like to say it's gonna be, oh, this one's not connected to anything. So, I mean, if I do that, then it's, it's almost like none of them can pop up. Oh, but they can. Can't hit both of those. be able to get out too. I have to, the last thing that I do has to be to hook around something and go back to the right. For one that only has a few ways to go, quite tricky. already 
at least it's uh, it's symmetrical, so I shouldn't worry about like oh maybe I have to start at the bottom instead of the top. So it has to start with either going over that or going over this. We're going through the middle and up like that or up like that. Up like that's kind of a dead end. have to do this and then there's a million possibilities to go under this one well not under go over this one you could go between these two it's kind of a bust down and around this to the left we wind up with the puzzle that you can't you can't do this to the right This would be it if I could get out. Maybe it is go over this. Go over that at the top. This is how you get the one that I now can't, can't solve, can't get out. point of that. Is it really equal? I mean, I, it is. It's really a symmetric. This one and here, I've already closed out any possibility of beating the puzzle because now there's nowhere to go except for this one, which you can go over, but cannot uh, get this last one. So it's not that. 
It's not. It's not anything. <laughs> So close. It's basically the opposite of the other one. Like, I finish over here instead of over there, and I can easily finish it, but can't get out. <sighs> because I need this and this to both be. So what if I come down here? Can't come around that way. Hey, notice. Uh, so the trick is, I have to get out. This door will open once all six of these pillars have been lit up, and you light up by moving, moving so that the wire touches it. But whenever you touch one of them, the floor, every piece of of floor that's attached to that one that just lit up will rise up and become a wall. If it can, if it can't because you're, the wire is blocking it, then it doesn't go up like that, that one at the top left. So the trick is, how do you light up all six? And there's only six. We've seen more complex puzzles than this. <laughs> Starting with that is ridiculous. Starting with... Could this be it? Is there some way? No. Feels like one I haven't experimented with enough. Under the first one and then over the top. No, of course I have. Done this many times. It is, in a sense, the only thing I have ever done. Can't go around that that way. If I start like this, can I ever get that bottom left one? I can't go under it because I can't wrap around, and I can't go over it because it will trigger that bottom wall, unless I have a line over it, which I can't. So this, this can't be correct. Let's instead, I already tried this to its full extent. already tried this. So the only way is to start by wrapping around this first. We had an early victory right at the start of the stream. I completely demolished the rest of the jigsaw puzzles. Now these builder puzzles have got me. 
Builder 04. There's only one more after this, and then that's the last builder puzzle. Through the middle is out. I've tried this before. No, 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 we've been over this. Can't go under this guy. Ain't no way. Ain't no how. So if I'm starting by going like that, how do we ever get the, the two on the left? If I go between them, I can... Well, nope. Can't go between them and down. Can't go between them and up. If I go here and touch it... We're done. If I go over and touch it, we're not done, but then this is the only option which makes the puzzle unsolvable. So we don't go to the left. We go straight down. <laughs> All right. Oh. Oh, there we go. I didn't click your link. How was this hard? <laughs> what was I doing wrong? I guess it was that I never... I definitely came down and got the two on the right at some point and then went, Ooh, can't get any of these. Huh. Okay. All right. The final one. Couldn't be any simpler. Just go to the door. Alright, so choices. Uh, let's commit to only doing this on the left. If I start by going outside, I have to touch this next. Have to touch this. Have to touch this. We're done. So instead... Touch that from the left? No. How about this one touched from the left? If I do, that happens. That happens. That doesn't happen. I mean, it happens, but these things happen. But I can't ever get that. Touching that from the right is... <laughs> uh, no, it wasn't that I was overthinking it. It was that there was there was a solution there that looked very similar to the other solutions, which is to go around the top clockwise and then the bottom counterclockwise. Maybe that's how I should be talking instead of instead of talking like a silly person should say the right things. Alright, so I could go through the middle here, block that off. Then go like this, but still get in at the bottom.
Wow, okay, last one. Last one defeated with ease. When we realized that we couldn't distance ourselves from the planet, we had an emergency meeting with the captain. She was as reliable as ever, calm and collected. Our first instinct was to use the escape pods, as we thought they might be small enough to escape the planet's pole. She told us to hold tight, though. It was her that reminded us where we were. On the frontier. In the middle of nowhere. I'm sure we could probably escape, but we'd be light years away from civilization, in a canister, with minimal rations, and no cryosleep pods. There are cryosleep pods in the escape pods, right? if I was wrong, pods, and they right? couldn't escape the pole either. If we could... We had to keep the alabaster. Aubergine and Marmalade had started work on something as soon as they realized that we were stuck. They pitched it to the captain in that meeting. They called them anchors. So, the, so yes, there is a there is a story. It's been a very thinly stretched story because you only get new story when you complete one of these anchors. Um. It seems like whatever order you solve them in, they still give you the story in the correct order. Um, but we're not too far from the end of the game. But this is suspicious because she is praising the captain who is not on the ship, Swan. Uh, Swan is talking to them from, you know, back on Earth or wherever. For her to say, oh yeah, Swan had a great idea of calm and collected as always. She came up with this idea of the anchors. We know from the logs that that's not true. That they they locked down the ship like this with these anchors in order to stop Swan from being able to like remotely control the sh the ship and stop them from escaping. That unlocked this pistachio. Oh, wait, Pistachio is the one who disappeared. This is her final one? Or the week... This is week eight. Which was... The week that she disappeared. I guess. And then there was no entry for nine. And then we've seen her entry for ten where she just says something about... Uh, she sends a message to... Juniper... Where is there a console to put this in? There we go. So you get those voiceovers for completing puzzles, and you also find these punch cards, sometimes from solving puzzles, sometimes just from exploring. And these kind of tell you the story out of order, because they are... You're accessing someone's... A week of someone's emails, and you can see other people that they were emailing, but you you don't have... You don't always get the full story, because it may be an email that was just sent, you know, to one person or whatever. Wait, What? Oh wait, week two? Is that the one that I just put in? Yes. This is week two. I've already seen... Right? All of these? I've seen them from someone else's perspective. Games night. Games night. Hey, Garrett. I thought you would be in bed. Usually, if I if I do a Sunday stream, they're so late. We haven't we haven't seen the diary entry. Oh, this is gonna be it's just from Why was a week two punch cut did I I think I got the wrong one. <laughs> Thank you for the luck. Portal would be great. I would watch some portal. Up above the warehouse is the coziest little mezzanine. 
Is there? We dubbed it the Mez. Oh, I know where they're talking about. That's where we found the where we found the tape. The movie. Or maybe poster, I forget. Sounds fancier that way. I couldn't tell you why it's there. It only overlooks a warehouse. Glad it is. Blankets. Alabaster so cold. Snuggling on the blankets. Introduction to honey. He said it was a rom com about a girl named Honey, but it turned out to be an interesting about albeit albeit dry documentary about beekeeping on the firmament. Got the tapes mixed up. Drink or two on TSC's dying a little too seriously. Got a hangover cure. Spacewalk, right? Okay. What? Let me. How do I? Not mistaken, right? There's Pistachio week ten, week six. All right. I don't know how I looked at that and thought it said week eight when it was actually a two. That's actually kind of bizarre that they would give us such a basic one so late in the game, but I... Like, I don't think they're distributed at random. <laughs> Each one that you find is was, was placed there. 